it's Nikki Apolinar, and you're watching the Behind the Beat of Kapait. The first lines that I wrote to Kapait was the Horus, but in the process of writing those lines, I didn't label it that this will be the Horus, this will be the first verse or something like that. I just started on um, writing things that connects to what I want to deliver to the song. So yeah. I finished the song for about a month or less, I think, because I had a lot of scratch lyrics for Kapait and I didn't like it. So that's why it took me that long to finish the song because I tried to put more time into the song. The message of the song is not mine, it's my mom's point of view, it's her story in the song. Kasi alam ko na wala siyang sinabihan na kahit kanino kung gaano siya nasaktan sa nangyari sa pamilya namin noon or gaano siya nasaktan sa ginawa ng mga dad namin sa kanya. So yeah, I tried to look at her point of view and my perspectives and made it made it into a song. So that's basically Kapait. Before it got professionally arranged, I used my ukulele to play the song and I sent a demo to Viva and then I got a call from Sir Siv and he asked if what instruments that I would like to put into the song, ju not just the ukulele. and. I just said anything because I had no clue and I had no idea what instruments to put because when I compose songs, I just use my ukulele. So yeah, when I heard the instrumental, I felt like I was floating. I couldn't believe that I will have a song, like that's my song, even if I haven't recorded the vocal yet, so yeah. But I'll try teaching myself to be more imaginative and to be more creative when it comes to the instruments that I want to put into my songs, in my future songs so that I can lend more ideas as an artist. I went back to the recording studio twice because the first recording I didn't really put emotions into it because I wasn't feeling well. I couldn't sustain air. Actually, until now I can't sustain air. But yeah, when I went inside, I was, I was in awe, you know? I was shocked also, nervous and excited. So that's basically what I felt during recording. I still can't believe that I have a song and it's released by Viva Records. I felt like I was daydreaming no the release na yung song. So yeah, I'm just really thankful for everyone who made it possible. That's the story of Kappa It, so don't forget to support and listen on Spotify, iTunes, and in all digital stores. <laughs>